How's it gaming guys? I'm Fellow Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Turnabout Samurai. Last time, Dee Vasquez considered the possibility that she might have murdered Jack Hammer, but now we have to prove it. You did it? You did like really double down? No further question. No. Can't let her walk. Let's fight again. Yeah, that's fine again. Because just saying you did is just a, a that's a circle. Like, it's just go in circles right there. Uh, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far, it's try so hard, but in the end, it didn't even matter. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the wis uh, witness, Ms. Vasquez. Oh, shit. Edgeworth! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> You're useless, Edgeworth. I love you. I didn't. I see. Very well. Objection. Objection again. Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm, well, yes, um... Indeed. Verily, I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. There you go, there you go, Edgeworth. I love this. I love this. Edgeworth knows. He knows that she did it. And I love the idea that he's like, you know, damn the prosecution thing. I'm searching for the truth. And I'm going to be on, on Phoenix's side for this. I might not admit it, but that's what I'm going to do. I love that about Edgeworth. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. After finding the body... I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security leader, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Then I had a bubble bath. Then I had some wine. Then I slept on my three million dollar bed. <laughs> hmm. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Wow, she's sounding much like her sister. Right. Good for you, Maya. Um, it was a solid old bag. Actually, let's press on that see if they... Sh like, what did they say then? What time was that? We were to meet at 5 o'clock for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Well, she did say she wasn't stuffing bodies in the costumes, so she must be telling the truth. Where were the other employees when we got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. B boy The witness will continue her testimony. Wow, okay, we gotta be really careful what we press her on. Sister was there too, only Powers was absent. Immediately called the police. Uh, old, la old bag was crazy. I asked if we left the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Wait. No, she didn't. We know that Sal had the script, and she asked us to get it from him, so let's, uh, let's press her on that. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and no- Oh! 
No, Phoenix, Phoenix is big brain activity right there, thinking ahead of me. I love when you do the, the right thing, but it, like you didn't actually know the right answer, but it's like, yes, I knew all along, because the game is telling you. <laughs> well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm, very well. Ms. Vasquez, please continue. Yeah, I'm about to say, you didn't know there was a murder yet. Your Honor, you idiot. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. That Phoenix friggin' missed. Think. Ms. Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was an obvious one. Even I got that, and I'm an idiot. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What are you, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of, of a career change to defense? Now, probably not during a trial. <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. That makes sense. That's actually pretty good. Um, press that, I guess. Whenever you get like a new part like added into the testimony, it, that's the part you're going to have to do something with. So, How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. We have to find something to peg this honor here. Where everything we've done up till now has been, uh, uh, would have, uh, will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I was with Sal. Okay, um. Uh. I knew the hammer was injured. Alright. Well, the only thing about him being injured would have been. Shit. I guess the only thing about him being injured would be the picture. You knew that Hammer was injured. Wait, no! Powers was injured! Oh, shit! Yeah, holy crap, I'm like, figure this out as I go along. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? How would you make that mistake? <laughs> Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Shouldn't have to, it's pretty obvious now. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Yeah, you walked into that one, Vasquez. I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the, uh, was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Imagine if it was just Sal honestly making a mistake and just saying the wrong name by mistake, like you have a brain fart, and this entire like thing was completely different. <laughs> Why would he tell you the wrong person? Ms. Vasquez, you heard Manella wrong, or you saw Hammer limping? You saw him limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from... Oh. And, uh, okay, yeah, actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Okay, that's good, okay. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be pa powers. I'm beginning to remember the exacts of what, why this, why he was doing this, all that sort of thing. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have been, uh, it would have been then. It would have had to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio Two, where he was murdered. I think, I think Hammers was trying to frame Powers for something he was going to do. But it didn't work out that way. Exactly. Ms. Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. It's all come together. Order! Order! I will have order! W uh, witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on this matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it. I mean, you wouldn't choose the bad one, so... Okay, I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I presented the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive uh, in, the, in this murder. I'm assuming it has to do with the past, so... This is my proof. This... This is the photo from before? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Hmm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently, uh, currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. Was it precipitated? <laughs> uh, his fall from stardom. His guilt weighed, uh, weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Uh, Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Mr. Hammer. He was a good source of income for me, and I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Yeah, I, I think it's... Yeah, I think I'm remembering correctly. I think it's... Um, I think he was trying to kill her, so she didn't have a motive to kill him at that time. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? Shit, well, guilty. <laughs> it was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Ms. Vasquez did was push him off the stairs, in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intended to kill Ms. Vasquez. What? <laughs> what? Oh, that's still Edgeworth. Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh, no, not her billion dollar little pipe thing. So, you did do it, didn't you? Self-defense, though, honestly. Yes, I am guilty. It was me. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't <laughs> for you pesky kids. Somebody call an ambulance. The There's blood everywhere. We're too late. I don't know who's talking. Ah, uh, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Oh, I guess that could be from... Uh, yeah. Man, man. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the old... So Manuel was the guy who died there. Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this... It was an accident. Oh. Wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel. Don't touch him. Miss Vasquez. No! Please, please don't die. Please. It sounded like she was, like, somewhat normal back then. Like, an actual, like, not cold person. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. We did it! Thanks to Edgeworth, actually. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? She vanished. <laughs> Judge, what are you talking about? D. Vasquez has been dead for ten years. What? <laughs> In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. 
What about me? I'm just nothing to you guys? <laughs> I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Feels like shit. Come on, man. He's talking good stuff about me and he took it away. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Now get the fuck out of my courtroom. That is all. This court is adjourned. Yay, we did it. Three for three. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... But it's sad. I know I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. He sounds like Larry Butts right now. Tell me why she cheated on me. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Oh. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? I don't know. Show evidence. <laughs> well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Because all the kids love the Steel Samurai. Because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as the villain to boot, I'd love to act as the villain, to be really honest. Screw you, if I was like a Power Rangers thing and I was playing a clip door, I'd be so happy. He's the best. <laughs> it's like my favorite villain Power Rangers. Question of the day, who's your favorite villain in Power Rangers? Oh man, we're just talking about Power Rangers now. <laughs> I was joking. Uh, the kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He's a dickbag! Yes, yes he was. He... he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. Oh, oh, Will Powers, my heart. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. I like that we get to see him again, too. He pops up in another game. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh! <laughs> Steamed hams! Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Ugh. <laughs> oh, he doesn't... Yeah, he doesn't know that's cancelled. Is... Is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! Nick! Edgeworth! Oh yeah, we can see Edgeworth, like, facing forward for once. It's kind of creepy. Oh, just kiss, you fools. <laughs> Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I, I really wanted to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, or Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Oh, he's a big fan. Oh, Miles, my heart. <laughs> I love it. Liar. Oh, he's always... Oh, ah, oh, damn it, I was fooled. <laughs> right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, also, you know, sorry for trying to get you framed for murder there, Maya. In retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary... Feelings. Unnecessary feelings? And by the way, the shipping for them is probably way stronger than the shipping of Nick and Maya, like, on the internet. <laughs> My goodness, is it strong. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Bye! Toodles! <laughs> um, Mr. Wright? Was... That guy your friend? Or was he just a giant douchebag? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? <laughs> For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Are you cousins? Anyone who watched the Sailor Moon dub knows what I'm talking about there. Is that it? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids' shows again. Yay, Pink Princess! Nick, this is it! The new show starts today. Damn, that does not take long to actually get the show started, apparently. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. 
You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant, whose name we just don't say because she's so dull. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Wait, he plays the pink princess? Frig, I'd watch that. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Yay, the end. Oh man, we had so much fun. We learned so much and we learned who killed Jack Hammers. It was so cool. Oh, I love it. Yay, next up will be episode four. I can't see because the stupid achievement's in the way. Turn about... I don't want to hold the expo button. Turn about goodbyes. But I only do one of these every year, so you'll have to wait a while before I get to episode four because I don't want my whole channel to be just a bunch of, you know, visual novel stuff. But I guess next time we'll have to find out about the hobo and the parent and the Dracula who's about to crush Edgeworth's head. <laughs> I'm Phil the Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.